Hi guys. All right, so today's video is going to be um, how to pick your correct foundation shade. Um, what inspired me to upload this video is because I actually have a video makeup for beginners, which I'm going to be linking down below. And in that video, I kind of explain step by step the you know first products that you might want to pick up when you're first getting into makeup and you're not too familiar with it. I kind of just give you a breakdown of the brushes and like the makeup that you need to buy and everything. But after I posted that video, I did get a lot of um people you know texting me and calling me and letting me know like hey i really like that video it was really helpful but i'm still in square one because i don't know how to choose the right foundation shade so basically i'm just going to give you guys a few little tips on how to pick the right foundation for you um and i hope this helps because i did struggle for a very long time trying to find my right foundation shade i felt like it was a guessing game i either nailed it or i didn't so i hope that these few little tips that i use when i'm personally picking out a foundation um, help you also pick out the right foundation for you all right so the first number one tip and this is universal i feel like no one should do this i don't ever 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 buy foundation online if the foundation is not available in store i just wait for it to become available in store um, unless you have unlimited time and money which where you can order a whole bunch of shades and return and you know but i don't have the patience for that so i stray away from online foundations that's number one number two um there's two different places where you can kind of go and get foundation in person and it would be the drugstore and a high-end store kind of like a mate well yeah kind of like a macy's counter or like sephora or you know things like or like something like that and then there is the drugstore in the drugstore it is a little more difficult so i'm going to go more in debt on how to do that all right so i usually carry these things in my bag but for those of you who don't i'm just going to tell you what you need all right so three things if you're going into the drugstore which is like a CVS, a Walgreens, Rite Aid, whatever, Target. If you're going to the drugstore to choose a foundation, you want to have three things with you. First of all, a clean face. No makeup, no BB cream, no other kind of foundation because if you want to find the correct foundation for you, you need to have your true color, not no makeup mess that you may have. Um, you need makeup wipes and you need a little, one of those little purse mirrors that you kind of just carry around. So those are the three things that you're going to need when choosing the right foundation shade at the drugstore. A lot of times I'll go into a drugstore and like tell the, the cosmetics person like, hey, can I just open a foundation or two just to make sure that I'm trying the correct one. At some drugstores, they'll be nice and say, yeah. And at some drugstores, you'll get like a really rude person that'll be like, no, you have to buy it. So, but I always open it. I'm sorry. I always open it because I'm not going to... Um, waste my money and time getting a foundation that doesn't match me so i go into the drugstore with my makeup wipes my mirror and my no makeup face that's step one so when you are picking out a foundation it's you, you have to be kind of like aware obviously if you are pale like me like a vampire i'm not gonna go to like the dark shades and start trying those so you kind of have to like eye out the um the selection of colors and say all right so with my complexion i think that i kind of fall within this group normally just by looking at the foundations you'll narrow it down to like three or four maybe five foundations that might be good for you um so you just stick within that so that already narrows it down if you are for example shopping for like l'oreal true match which is what i shop for they have so many shades i think they have like 20 something shades so just narrowing it down to like those five that may work for you that's already a huge help so second of all um how you test the color so you're gonna pick the one that you feel like matches the most for you and i test it in two different places first of all i like to test it right here in this area because you want to make sure that the foundation that you're choosing matches your neck because if your foundation does not match your neck you're going to have like one color on your face one color on your neck and you're going to look like you have a mask on so i always test on my foundation in this area right here i drag it down to my neck and you want to rub it completely like to the point where you can't rub anymore like completely blend it into this and buff it out onto the side of your face if all the lines disappear and there's like no difference between the skin color that where there's no foundation and where there is then that's the right color for you like if it matches your neck perfectly and it matches your face perfectly and there's no harsh lines or anything like that you know that's the color for you if you picked up the wrong one and it's not the right color for you you just grab one of the little makeup wipes that you have in your bag wipe it off make sure your face is nice and dry move on to the next color and do the same thing all over again and just blend it into the bottom side of your face like your jawline down to your neck that is where you always want to try out your foundation because let's say that you decide to try like on your forehead 
that's nice. Like, it might match your forehead, but you can't tell all the way from here if it's going to match your neck. So you definitely want to just try it on your jawline down to here. Um, that's step one. So step number two, you want to try it on your hand as well. I don't like trying it on the back of my arm because, as you can see, like, the back of my arm is always, like, a million shades lighter than my face. I don't know why, but... Um, so I always try it on the back of my hand. So the entire body is going to have the same kind of color of veins. Some people have like more purpley veins, some people have more like on the blue side, some people have like more um, green. So you look at the part of your hands that has the most veins and then you just put a little bit of foundation on there. If that foundation works well with your veins and it covers up your veins and everything and it just like blends seamlessly into it, then that's the right foundation for you. For me, this is not an extremely important step just because I don't have a lot of veins on my face, but for people who have like really veiny under eyes or like really veiny eyelids or like really veiny foreheads, you definitely want to make sure that the foundation that you're picking up is going to work well with your veins. I'm not sure if this is like sounding a little bit harder than it should. I feel like I always just like get into it and I feel like I make it sound harder than what it really is. You just walk into the drugstore with your wipes, your mirror and your makeup and your no makeup face. You try it on here. Once you notice that this is perfect, this is first, like you try this before your hand. Once you see that this is perfect, there is no harsh lines, there's nothing, you move on to the back of your hand. When you're at the back of your hand, it covers up your veins, that is the color for you. So you definitely want to go on a day that you have a little bit of time, maybe 15 to 20 minutes to spend on the makeup aisle. You definitely don't want to go with your kids because when I go with my nephew, I can't do anything. Like I just have to pick up makeup that I already own and that I know it's good because they just like start running around. And so go by yourself Go or go with someone who likes to shop for makeup as well and will have the time and the energy to help you out. Um, I like to go with my friends sometimes and sometimes like I'll be picking out a foundation and my friend will be like, no girl. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Also, another really important thing to know when you're shopping, especially at the drugstore, you need to know your return policies. Not a lot of people are aware of this, but for example, like at CVS and Walgreens, if you buy a makeup product and you're not 110% satisfied and you don't love it, you can actually return it without a receipt. You can return it used and they give you a store credit. So let's say that you buy a foundation, you try it a couple of times and then you realize that it's not the right color for you or you try it at home in a different lighting and you find out that it's not the right color for you. What you can do, you can just go back to the store and say, hey, this didn't work for me. I'm going to exchange it for this color. And then you go back and you exchange it. You don't want to go through the hassle of having to come back and return and exchange an item. Another thing that you can do is put on the foundation at the drugstore, walk out, just leave, go into your car and look at it in the sunlight, go into the mall and look at it in a different lighting, go home and just see how it looks in different lights. And then you'll say, okay, so this is the right foundation for me. I'm going to go back. Or this is not the right foundation for me. I'm going to go back and pick up another one. But if you're tight on time, you obviously don't have time to make five different trips to the drugstore throughout the week. So it's really important to know your return policies when it comes to buying makeup. Because makeup is all trial and error. And I do buy makeup all the time that I'm just buying to try out and I don't like it. And I just go back and I return it for something that is going to work for me. Or I just go buy something and replenish something that I already use. But I feel like buying makeup and just not using it is like a really big waste of money. Another thing, um, there you it, it is helpful if you're familiar with your undertones a lot of times drugstore foundations don't have the neutral and cool and warm and those options for foundations is just kind of like the shades that they offer and you kind of just match it as you can um but if you have uh, more of like a yellowy undertone or like your skin is more like yellowy you definitely want to go with a neutral foundation if you have more of like a pinkish tone to your skin like a pinkish undertone you want to go with cool and if you're somewhere like in the middle if you're like kind of like orangey, like a little more orangey, not yellow, but kind of like, mm, you go with the warm. I buy my foundation warm. I've had people tell me that I'm a cool. I've had people tell me that I'm a neutral. When I go to like MAC or um, Sephora and those people try to like color match me, they always tell me that my skin is neutral, but my undertone is neutral. But personally, when I'm shopping for foundation, and I usually tend to shop for warm, my um, True Match is warm. True Match does have the option of cool, neutral, warm, whatever. Um, so that does also help if you know what your undertones are. You definitely know which side of the foundations to go to. And then when you're shopping like at Sephora or Macy's, my number one tip is, I don't know, like, uh, maybe it's because I know a little bit more about makeup, but I feel like those people, like, I'm not trying to discredit salespeople at all, at all, because I used to be a salesperson, so I know what it is to try to get your numbers up. But... 
for some reason, every single time that I go buy a product and I allow a salesperson to help me, I always end up saying in my head, like, lie, lie. I've tried this. Lie, lie. Okay, true. Lie. So, like, I just feel like they just, like, try to sell you the product so badly that they're not... Some some of them, not all of them, because there's a lot of great salespeople, and I, you know, have worked with really great salespeople before, but I feel like a lot of them try so hard to push a product that they're not necessarily looking to help you. They're more interested in selling the product. You go up to, like, a rep, and you can kind of, like, mm, she's kind of feeding it to me right now because she wants to sell this. You can go find somebody else. There's nothing wrong with that. Or you can just say, you know what, like, I don't need help. When I go into Sephora and somebody automatically says hey are you looking for anything in specific do you need help with anything i just say no i'm just looking even though i am shopping just because i am kind of like a, like i get anxiety when somebody's like breathing down my neck like what are you gonna buy what are you gonna buy what are you gonna buy and i just end up buying things that i don't want or need so i prefer to decline the help i walk around for a couple of minutes get a feel of what i want get a feel of what it is that i need i try to watch youtube videos or like have an idea of what i want before i go into the store so i don't end up hauling like eight thousand dollars um not that i can afford eight thousand dollars of makeup but um so i tried to go in with an idea of what i want i declined the help at first and then once i'm kind of decided like okay this is the foundation brand that i want um these are the colors that may be good for me then i may say like hey which one do you think works better like do you have a powder that complements this or whatever um and they always try to sell you like an add-on product as well like for me, it just gets me mad when someone who doesn't really know a lot about makeup kind of like falls for it because I went to Sephora with one of my friends who doesn't wear makeup and she was looking at the Forever HD foundation and this girl comes up to her that works there and she's like, yo, that's like an amazing foundation, but you need the translucent powder. Like this foundation will not work without the translucent powder. And I'm like, yes, it does. Like I've used it before and it works perfectly fine with any trans without translucent powder. Like I'm like... So why are you selling me a $40 foundation that needs a $30 powder on top of it? Like, I wear $10 foundation and don't need anything. So, like, so like I knew that she was kind of just, like, trying to push the product. So don't always believe it. And this is how people who don't really know a lot about makeup end up falling into a hole and just kind of, like, wasting all their money. You kind of have to, like, know how to read the bullshit. With that girl, I know she was a BSR as soon as she walked up to us. So when you're at a high-end store, don't fall for the pressure of someone kind of, like, pressuring you to buy something. Decline the help. Don't be scared to decline the help. Just don't be rude because if you do need the help at the end, you want to be able to come to somebody and say, hey, like, I need help with this foundation. I need help with that. But um, get your tips. If you are a beginner, try to get your tips from... This is just, like, my opinion. Obviously, maybe you're like, why would I get my tips from somebody? I don't know. But I'm buying new products that I've never tried before. I try to get all of my tips and all of my reviews and all of my opinions from a YouTuber that I really, really trust. Um, I just like search it and I go to like the, you know, like the girls that I really, really trust or boy, boys that I really, really trust. And I just look at their reviews, look at what they think. And then I go and based on that, I kind of formulate like inspired by their opinion. I kind of make my own decision. I don't like taking advice from someone selling me anything. I don't know why, but I have this engraved in my head. Um, yeah, don't allow yourself to be pressured. Just give yourself time. And one of my biggest, biggest tips of shopping for foundation, especially when you don't know your shade, go with time and go with no kids. Go by yourself or go with one person who is patient. Don't go with your husband. Don't go with your boyfriend. Don't go with your two-year-old. Go when you're just like calm, you're cool, you have no makeup on, and you have all the time in the world to pick out your foundation. And I guarantee you that you will find the correct foundation shade for you. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Um, I really hope it helps you pick out your foundation shades. I am thinking about doing like a series on my channel. Like I already did the makeup for beginners. This is how to pick your right foundation shade. I kind of want to do kind of like a primer video, a concealer video. Um, just all around for beginners to kind of get an idea of how to get into makeup, how to like dip your feet before you like dive in. Um, if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing, please comment below and let me know. If I get enough requests, then I'll just, you know, start up on the series. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in my next video.